So this is a lot like the question you saw in your notes. You're going to have to find the probability of a match and a match in both situations, leathers and leather and cotton and cotton, and then add the results together. So the probability of getting a leather the first time, that's 6 out of 10. And then the probability of getting a leather the next time, well, there would be five leathers left and just nine gloves. So we multiply those together, and that's going to give me a 30 out of 90 chance or one-third chance of pulling leather than leather. Now, as far as cotton goes, if we try and go for the cotton match, there's four cottons to start out of 10 total, so four out of 10 chance. And then assuming I pull cotton the first time, three left that are cotton out of nine possible, and that's going to give me a 12 out of 90 chance. And actually, as you can see, since these both worked out to be out of 90, we could have just added them together just like that. But we can go ahead and reduce these down if we want to. Um, we can chop three out of both of these guys, and that will become four out of 30. But again, all we're doing now is we're adding these probabilities together and that's going to give me a 42 out of 90 chance of pulling the same type of glove, whether it be leather or cottons, in a row. You can reduce that if you want to. 42 over 90 reduces to, in this case, 7 over 15. So you've got a 7 out of 15 chance of pulling two of the same type of glove. Seven tries. It'll happen out of 15 total.